what was so important about December 2020 was that now that we have crossed that line, today we are November 2021. You see, these conjunctions are going to continue every 20 years. But from now on, the Earth era does not come back. If COVID ends, yes, that means that, you know, we can go back to the office, everything's going to go back to normal and business is going to get back. Uh, now, I started talking about this more than two years ago and we've been warning people that it is not going to be the case. So if you are planning for that, um, you might want to revisit your plans. So what exactly is a bail-in? And it, basically, when the bank owes money, and they can't pay, right now they will cancel the debt that is owed to creditors and to depositors. The obvious risk to bank depositors is the possibility of losing a portion of your deposits. Guys, I am not joking. The US government will run out of money by October 18, and this was from the Treasury Secretary. Janet Yellen has lent support for the effort to remove the debt ceiling. What I think a lot of people have not realized is that in the last 100 years or so, the United States has already raised their debt ceiling at least 90 times. This influx of money, it seems strongest at about this late Jan, early Feb period. So that means we do know that there are too many indicators here telling you that the USA is going to make a very important decision just about here when it comes to money. I think it's, it's very important right now that people must understand the difference between value and money is not the same thing. So that as money becomes more and more worthless, then of course things become more and more expensive. Lah. As far as free speech is, is starting to play out in the internet, but we also start to see that in Thailand, um, headlines like this, COVID-19 clamped down on free speech. And it's not just Thailand, isn't it? It's happening in India. India is clamping down on free speech. Africa is clamping down on free speech. China is clamping down on free speech. This pattern of a restricted opinion and communications is, is clear across multiple countries. show you the scale of what do I mean by they are leaving China. Okay, let me show you the logos of the companies that are leaving. See if you can spot a pattern, yeah? Look, watch, ah. Nike, Adidas, Puma, Under Armour, Steve, Madden, O, Navy, Superdry, Space, NK. This is just some of the companies, yeah? Let's look at Apple, Dell, HP, Intel. All these companies are leaving their factories away from China. If you look at young people, millennials, Gen Z, China's got lots of those uh, very smart guys right now. Do they look like the kind of guy who works in factories? Now, if China no longer wants to be the world's factory, who will take its place? First of all, there's a global chip shortage. IBM says the chip shortage could last two years. It's all going to get expensive. It's all going to be hard to replace. Uh, I think it's possible that you have to be prepared that prices are going to shoot. I think it's time to be prepared because just because something does not hit you immediately does not mean it is not going to hit you from September onwards. That there will be a slowdown in things like travel, events and economy. People thought that all the COVID measures were temporary. People thought that working from home was temporary. I've been saying this right from the very start. Please don't be loud into this temporary thinking. The difference that your time in this webinar is going to make, make that difference to you is this last part, which is what are you going to do about it? And the question is, what's your plan?